Hey folks, Peter here. This is going to be the start of a series covering a new cast iron pan that I picked up. Got it on Kickstarter. It is the prepped skillet, 10 inch skillet there. Got a little instruction. I'll show you guys some close ups here of the inside of this thing. I've had cast iron in the past, as you guys know, uh, but I've never had a brand new one. So I figured I'd do like a pseudo vlog, just kind of covering my, my journey with a brand new cast iron. Cause I've always bought like a used one and just kind of fixed them up. So as you can see in this close up shot, this thing has actually been machined smooth. So this doesn't have any sort of texture or rough bumps on it. You can kind of see some machining lines around the edge here. And then the outside definitely has that kind of rough cast iron finish, uh, prepped logo right there in the center. But pretty much edge to edge, uh, if you're using like a glass top or, you know, not, uh, not a flame to heat this pan. So you do have edge to edge coverage there, which is pretty nice. Definitely some smooth stuff here. Polished and pre-seasoned. I guess I'm not too sure about that. Uh, naturally non-stick use on any cooktop. Thank you for purchasing Prep Skillet and joining the Prep community. We hope you love using Prep Skillet as much as we do. With the right care, Prep Skillet will last a lifetime. Here's a few quick tips to get the most out of your pan. So this is actually what we're going to start with today. I'm just going to cover just the kind of the, the starting with a new cast pan here, a new cast iron pan. Uh, and I'm going to follow their instructions. Gently scrub with water and a small amount of dish soap. Wipe clean and dry, then heat on the stove to evaporate any moisture. That's pretty standard after you clean a cast iron to fire it up on the, on the stove just to kind of dry it out. Add a little bit of oil and that's basically all they tell you to do. Breaking phase, first 10 uses. Use a little extra oil, keep the temperature low, don't crank it up too fast. Sauteing, roasting, frying, uh, avoid salty liquids or acidic foods. Tomatoes, wine, citrus, that's pretty common knowledge too. So that's where we're gonna start today is just kind of the, the, the first use. I'm gonna move the camera over to the sink here. And we're just gonna kind of chronicle the, uh, the journey that this thing takes as I get it set up. It, it, they always say pre-seasoned and stuff. And I guess I do see almost a golden tint to this. I don't know if that's showing up on camera. Maybe that's just the lighting here. But of course we are gonna clean it and then we'll start at the start. All right, so all I'm gonna do to clean this as they suggest just, just the teeniest, tiniest little amount of dish soap there, uh, some water, and then I'm just gonna scrub this by hand just so I don't, you know, over scrub it or whatever they're saying. And this actually feels like stone now that I have this wet here. Like if you were to take a, a smooth stone, not like a polished stone, but a smooth stone and get it wet. That's what this feels like right here. Uh, but so I'm just going to touch every spot on here. Get the handle there too a little bit. Now I'm just going to rinse this clean uh, just to rinse off that soap. Now this feels, this feels weird, this feels wrong doing this to a cast iron, but that's what they say to do, so. If anything, I mean, if somebody, this was their first cast iron pan and they had no clue what to do, this is what they would be doing. They'd be following what it says to do on the package, so. All right, and they say that's all you got to do. I got some paper towels here. Grab a couple. And you can see, you can see how smooth that is on the screen there. Uh, which is nice because then it's not going to grab all like the lint off of a paper towel. So that's why I'm not so worried about that. This handle is very solid too. It's a very, it's flat. It's completely flat on the top here. I don't know if that's a design choice. So if you want to lay it upside down for anything, you can. I guess I'm not too sure. I do wish the outside of the pan was smooth too. Um, that's just me. Obviously it's not going to affect cooking or anything. Be nice to see what this looks like once it starts changing colors. There we go. So I'm gonna call that wiped dry and I'm gonna get this on the stove top, heat it up and put a little bit of oil in. We'll go from there. All right, so here we've got the pan. I'm gonna turn this heat to a low medium. Just let that kind of dry out for a little bit here. Now, while that's heating up, I will say this also came with a, a leather handle
Okay, cool. I actually haven't opened this yet. It's just kind of slides over this, I guess. You want it to use it like that, or maybe you flip it around. I guess I'm not exactly sure how that works. Uh, I'm gonna mess with that later though. Real leather here, just a little stitching on it, nothing too fancy. Nice little touch. I think this is one of the bonuses from the Kickstarter that I had. But if I do need to touch the pan or lift it or move it around, I'm just gonna use, uh, I've got a towel over here. So the pan now has been sitting here for a little bit. I put a drop of water in there and then wiped it and the, the, the trail immediately disappeared. I don't think it's gonna get too much warmer than this without cranking the heat up. And I believe it says to not put the heat up early. So we're just gonna leave it like that. I've got a, an avocado oil here. Uh, it says high heat, 500 degrees Fahrenheit. That's probably way too much, but uh, that's all right. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna Just kind of move this around a little bit. And I've just got a paper towel. And for today, for right now, I'm just gonna focus on the inside of this pan. Probably when it cools down, maybe I'll do a light coating on the outside. Make sure I get in those corners and everything. Now I could be using something like a silicone brush or something similar to spread this oil around. But I think I like that just, just simple enough with a paper towel. Again, it does, you know, Maybe a little teeny spot of lint here and there, but I'm not too worried about that. I think it's, for the most part, just fine. I think that's what we're gonna leave it for today though. Just a nice light coating in there. And you've seen the color now. Uh, I didn't really take any before pictures or anything, but I think that's gonna be, you know, a pretty good, I mean, there you go, gray. <laughs> It's starting out as gray and hopefully with a couple of uses. Again, I'm probably just gonna start just with some veggies in here, just tossing some veggies around. No cooking eggs yet. I'm not gonna do any egg tests and see if it does a true nonstick. Although I do have high hopes for this finish. Being that machine smooth from the factory, I think that's really gonna help a lot. But we'll see where that goes. Uh, again, this is a little bit different of a series. I'm not doing like a start to finish. We are gonna take our time with this one. I'm not gonna bake the pan. I know a lot of people will bake their pans. Obviously, I've done that a few times. Just toss them in the oven, you know, a few hundred degrees, 400 degrees, whatever it is. And uh, just, you know, try to bake in the oil that way. But we're gonna see how this works. This is what it says to do on the package. So I'm gonna follow their instructions and see how it works out. So hopefully you guys enjoy this series. Maybe you picked up one of these and you haven't used it yet, or maybe you are looking at getting one. I'm not sponsored or anything by them, but cast iron is pretty fun to use. So we'll see how this one goes. All right, well, that's gonna do it for today's video. Uh, like I said, a little bit different series here. I'll get some oil on the outside, but I do wanna kind of track the progress of this pan from the start of the seasoning and breaking it in all the way to this thing's ready to rock. Uh, there are some more instructions on there, but we'll get to that in another episode. So if you guys do enjoy this, if you have any questions, let me know. Leave a comment down below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, all that fun stuff. Uh, I don't have to tell you this, you already know all that. But yeah, if you want to see more cast iron stuff, I'm not an expert by any means, but I do enjoy cooking with cast iron. It just, it's, it's a nice feeling. I guess I can't really explain it, but if you've cooked with cast iron, you kind of, you kind of get it, I think. Again, I will get some more oil on the outside. Actually, I didn't get any oil on the outside, but I'll get some on the outside. So after I've used it a few times, I'll give you guys a review then to see how it's been doing, how it's been holding up. I am looking forward to it, uh, especially to see how the color is gonna change and develop as it sort of bakes in and just kind of catches its groove. But that's all I've got for you guys today. Hopefully you did enjoy that. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. I'll see you guys next time.